like a bird on a tree I'm just sitting here I got time It's clear to see From up here The world seems small We can sit together It's so beautiful You and me We meant to be In the great outdoor Forever free It's like almost 80, what, 85 in here? Something like that. Yeah. Um, yeah. You're gonna, nice and toasty. Hello and welcome back to Granted Gardens. My name is Melissa and today we are finally starting some seeds. Now, I do want to make sure that I state that these are going to be cold crops. So these are going to be crops that we know will grow just fine even though it's a little chilly outside. Um, now we're not going to be planting them outside anytime soon. We're just going to get them started here in the house in the grow station and so that by like late winter, early springish, we can kind of get them outside. So these are going to be things like broccoli, lettuce, kale, spinach, things that can survive in cold temperatures. So we've got our seed packets out, we've got our seed tray here that's ready with soil and we're gonna dig in and start planning for the 2022 garden. All right, so we've got our tray set up. We went ahead and just put what we had available, which is usually what we do. <laughs> this is nothing new. Um, this is not seed starting mix. Like this is literally just potting soil that we have left over. Um, but we are avid about using what we have when we can, so. And we've done it before and it works fine, so we're sticking with this. Um, so we're going to go through our seeds and just triple check and make sure that we've got all of the cold crops that here that we want to start. Now we started off with just one tray. We probably won't even fill this because we don't really have all that much space to do cold crops. We it just depends. Certain things. See like I got this kale. You probably can't even see it, but it's called Thousand Head Kale from Baker Creek. Um, apparently this thing gets enormous. So I've had relatively not so good luck with elephant ears out in the tropical garden out front. So I figured this would be a fun substitute that won't look super tropical, but at least I'll get the big giant foliage that I want. And that way we can kind of get some extra food out of the space that's already out front. So we're going to start this and put that out there. Um, so that'll open up some space. I'm toying with the idea of maybe throwing cabbages out there just because. That'd be cool. We can harvest them when we want, and it's gonna be fine out there. And I think that was because that was something that I was really thinking about too with ca with cabbages and uh, broccoli. I always, I really want to try it, and I always say that. I mean, we're on to like year what three of trying to grow cabbages and broccoli. The BT. first year, <laughs> BT we all just day. grew it at the wrong time. We were trying to grow them during the summer, and there the bug problem just makes it nearly impossible for you to get a harvest out of it. So I think maybe starting them in the cooler season will be, will be better. Um, I think I did that last year too and I started two cabbages in buckets and those were the two cabbages that sat in the garden all summer long and like nothing happened. <laughs> I thought maybe it would be good to start the cabbages now and while it's still cooler out and I was thinking about just putting them in the greenhouse but now that we went out there today and it was in the 80s in the greenhouse, I, I would almost think that would be too warm. Like they would probably bolt if we just left them in the greenhouse. And I, I like Tyler's idea of trying to implement food plants into... Landscaping. Edible landscaping. Yes, edible landscaping. Trying to implement food plants into areas that we have not put them before. Ideally, if we like totally redid the front yard, which probably won't happen, um, mom and dad, it's, Garden it's probably as not going to happen. Yeah, I can I mean, see. <laughs> like, it probably won't happen. Um, but if we did, like that would be my game plan. So I think it would be fun to kind of play with that idea. We pulled some of the crops that we know that we want to do for 
gold props. Now we just kind of need to discuss where all this is going. So we have, I have the new lettuce stand that I had gotten, like planter that's like hip, like hip height, waist height, that I got from Goodwill last year. So I want to, I want to do, uh, I think I want to do spinach in that one. I want to make sure we have a ton of spinach. Well, then we have the green stalks, which have six pockets, is it? Six pockets. Okay, so six pockets and five layers each. Well, I wanted to make sure that I did lettuce. And I wanted to make sure I did a variety because I really, I really enjoy having different colors. Like that's something that I've learned about myself from a gardening standpoint over the last few years is that like color makes me happy. <laughs> so I've got a few different types of lettuces here. They're both from Baker, Cle Baker Creek. Um, I've got the Merlot lettuce, which is going to be like that purple color and the Henderson's Black Seeded Simpson. Uh, these will both be more like cut and come again um, lettuces as opposed to doing like a head of lettuce. I did have a head of lettuce kind of concept that I pulled out, but I don't think that that'll work quite as well in these pockets. I don't know. With this being our first time trying this out, I just wanna, I'd like to stick with cut and come again. Oh, I wanted to throw in some kale in there as well. We're not like crazy. <laughs> We're not crazy about kale. But I, like, I just want to try it <laughs> again. <laughs> Give it a shot. It's not my favorite thing to eat, but it's really good for you, so I eat it anyway. Right. So we've got a premier blend um, of kale, so we'll do some of those. We wanted to try carrots in them as well. So we've got this. Yeah. Carrot I don't know. Yep. Um, <laughs> carrot from Baker Creek. They look like little bitty carrots, so these look really cute. So another thing that I'm really excited about um, trying, and I don't know who got what here, but either way, they kind of look similar. I found these here in Baker Creek, and I think Tyler might have ordered one and I ordered the other. Um, and I just thought that they look good, and I'm hoping that they'll be a little bit easier than broccoli. Like, I feel like they, have, they give off the, like, broccoli vibe, right? Like, so you could eat them. I mean, they taste like broccoli. They right. just don't give you a giant head. head instead, like... Which is where we have a problem getting to that point. We have a really hard time getting to the point where we have a full head of broccoli before things go terribly wrong. So I thought maybe these would be easier. Um, so there's a choice sum and a broccoli rob. Not even going to try to pronounce it. Nope. <laughs> Bro broccoli rob. Not a... Ina di Fasano Sima Grande. Natalina di Fasino Sima Grande. Yep. Do we have any idea where we want to put them? Pots. Pots. And then um, we have our cabbage, a Brunswick cabbage, a cauliflower, and Brussels sprouts. Now we're going to try the cabbage and the cauliflower will probably be in pots as well, right? Yes. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try parsnips also in that. So we'll put that um, in the green stock pile. And then we have leeks, which this will be a first year for us growing these. Any idea where those should go? The ground. Okay. And then we're going to do kohlrabi again because the kohlrabi, I think we really like those delicious. Um, I'm doing my rainbow Swiss chard again because I really love the rainbow Swiss chard and it's like one of my favorite meals to make is the vegetarian lasagna and it just does so well with that. Um, I want to do some celery again. So I've got celery from and my gardener. It's the pink plume. Then while we were in there, I just pulled out stuff that I know I need to start if I want to grow any of it. So I just pulled out some loofah seeds. This is the time to start growing your loofah seeds is right now inside um, because they take a really long time to get started. <laughs> I also pulled our gourds, our bowl gourds, because I would imagine that they work the same way as the loofahs, so those will get started. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and get this started. We just need to figure out exactly how much of what we want to do. We got this far in and realized that we didn't have anything to label with. So um, I came across this big old box of plastic dinnerware when I was cleaning out the basement, and honestly, this has gotta be like forever million years old. So we're just gonna use these. And a Sharpie. And hope for the best this time. We get really creative on labels over the years of how we like label our seeds when we start. And it always makes for a really exciting growing season because we don't know what we actually planted by the time that it gets out into the garden. We meant to be in the great outdoors.
for the times you need to go and take a step back to see the truth. So we've got this done. I'm actually proud of us. I know that this isn't like the big garden. I know this is just like the beginning, but I feel like we did good on not going too crazy. It's one tray. Yeah. What is this? 12, 24, 36, 36 times two, 72, 72 plants. That's, I don't want to give ourselves too much credit yet. Cause I know that we still have like the big gardens to plan, but like, I feel like we did well with like being realistic about what we have space for and what we'll use. All right, so now these are gonna go downstairs in their new home. Get a little coating of dirt first. Yeah, a little coating of dirt. And some wadis. So as see. always, thank you guys so much for watching. And we look forward to sharing more with you soon. Around you, from a distance you can tell. It's right. Look at the freaking window. It's yeah. not coming from outside. It's reflecting off the window. No, there was a like really a line down your face. Oh. <clears throat> a line down my face. No. Okay. What was I saying? We're uh, a minute into this already. Okay. Um. All right. So 